Freddie Mercury was born Farrakh Balsara 5 September 1946, died 24 November 1991, in the British protectorate of Sultanate of Zanzibar, East Africa, now part of Tanzania, was a British singer, songwriter and record producer, widely known as the lead vocalist and songwriter of the rock band Queen and widely known for his flamboyant stage persona and for active vocal range. Mercury spent most of his childhood in India and began taking piano lessons at the age of seven. One of his formative musical influences at the time was Bollywood singer Lata Mangeshkar. In India, Mercury received formal piano training up to the age of nine. Later on, while living in London, he learned guitar. Much of the music he liked was guitar-oriented. His favorite artists at the time were The Who, The Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, David Bowie, and Led Zeppelin. At the age of 12, he formed a school band, The Hectics, and covered rock and roll artists such as Cliff Rickard and Little Rickard. Following graduation, Mercury joined a series of bands and sold second-hand clothes in the Kensington Market in London with girlfriend Mary Austin. In 1969 he joined the Liverpool-based band Ibex, later renamed Wreckage. He lived briefly in a flat above the Liverpool pub, the Dove Ale Towers. When this band failed to take off, he joined a second band called Sour Milk Tea. However, by early 1970 this group had broken up as well. In April 1970 Mercury joined guitarist Brian May and drummer Roger Taylor who had previously been in a band called Smile. Despite reservations of the other members and Trident Studios, the band's initial management, Mercury chose the name Queen for the new band. He later said, I was certainly aware of the gay connotations, but that was just one facet of it. At about the same time, he changed his surname, Balsera, to Mercury. His technique was astonishing. No problem of tempo, he sang with an incisive sense of rhythm, his vocal placement was very good and he was able to glide effortlessly from a register to another. He also had a great musicality. His phrasing was subtle, delicate and sweet or energetic and slamming. He was able to find the right coloring or expressive nuance for each word. Mercury wrote 10 of the 17 songs on Queen's Greatest Hits album. Bohemian Rhapsody, Seven Seas of High, Killer Queen, Somebody to Love, Good Old Fashioned Lover Boy, We Are the Champions, Bicycle Race, Don't Stop Me Now, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, and Play the Game. The most notable aspect of his songwriting involved the wide range of genres that he used, which included, among other styles, rockabilly, progressive rock, heavy metal, gospel and disco. One of Mercury's most notable performances with Queen took place at Live Aid in 1985, during which the entire stadium audience of 72,000 people clapped, sang and swayed in unison. Queen's performance at the event has since been voted by a group of music executives as the greatest live performance in the history of rock music. Over the course of his career, Mercury performed an estimated 700 concerts in countries around the world with Queen. In 1986, Queen also played behind the Iron Curtain when they performed to a crowd of 80,000 in Budapest, in what was one of the biggest rock concerts ever held in Eastern Europe. Mercury's final live performance with Queen took place on 9 August 1986 at Medworth Park in England and drew an attendance estimated as high as 160,000. With the British national anthem, God Save the Queen, playing at the end of the concert, Mercury's final act on stage saw him draped in a robe, holding a golden crown aloft, bidding farewell to the crowd. In addition to his work with Queen, Mercury put out two solo albums and several singles. Although his solo work was not as commercially successful as most Queen albums, the two of Queen albums and several of the singles debuted in the top 10 of the UK music charts. Mercury's two full albums outside the band were Mr. Bad Guy, 1985, and Barcelona, 1988. Mr. Bad Guy debuted in the top 10 of the UK album charts. In 1993, a remix of Living On My Own, a single from the album, posthumously reached number one on the UK singles charts. The song also garnered Mercury a posthumous Ever Novello Award from the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers and Authors. His second album, Barcelona, recorded with Spanish soprano Montserrat Caballé, combines elements of popular music and opera. The album was a commercial success, and the album's title track debuted at No. 8 in the UK and was also a hit in Spain. The title track received massive airplay as the official anthem of the 
at the less sang it live at the opening of the Olympics with Mercury's part played on the screen, and again prior to the start of the 1999 UEFA Champions League final between Manchester United and Bayern Munich in Barcelona. In addition to the two solo albums, Mercury released several singles, including his own version of the hit, The Great Pretender, by The Platters, which debuted at No. 5 in the UK in 1987. In September 2006 a compilation album featuring Mercury's solo work was released in the UK in honor of what would have been his 68th birthday. The album debuted in the UK Top 10. In 1981-1983 Mercury recorded several tracks with Michael Jackson, including a demo of State of Shock, Victory, and There Must Be More to Life Than This. In November 2011, Brian May announced that a series of duets that Mercury recorded with Jackson were to be released in 2012. He later updated the release date to autumn of 2013 and then to 2014. In addition to working with Michael Jackson, Mercury and Roger Taylor sang on the title track for Billy Squeer's 1982 studio release, Emotions in Motion and later contributed to two tracks on Squeer's 1986 release, Enough is Enough, providing vocals on Love is the Hero and musical arrangements on Lady with a Tenor Sax. In the early 1970s, Mercury had a long-term relationship with Mary Austin, whom he met through guitarist Brian May. He lived with Austin for several years in West Kensington, London. By the mid-1970s, the singer had begun an affair with a male American record executive at Electra Records and in December 1976, Mercury told Austin of his sexuality, which ended their romantic relationship. Mercury moved out of the flat they shared, into 12 Stafford Terrace in Kensington and bought Austin a place of her own nearby. They remained close friends through the years, with Mercury often referring to her as his only true friend. He also wrote several songs about Austin, the most notable of which is Love of My Life. Mercury's final home, Garden Lodge, One Log and Place, a 28-room Gorgon mansion in Kensington set in a quarter-acre manicured garden surrounded by a high brick wall, had been picked out by Austin. In his will, Mercury left his London home to Austin, rather than his partner Jim Hutton. Mercury was also the godfather of Austin's oldest son, Richard. During the early to mid-1980s, he was romantically involved with Barbara Valentin, an Austrian actress, who is featured in the video for It's a Hard Life, by 1985, he began another long-term relationship with hairdresser Jim Hutton, 1949-2010. Hutton, who was tested his positive in 1990, lived with Mercury for the last six years of his life, nursed him during his illness and was present at his bedside when he died. Hutton said Mercury died wearing the wedding band that Hutton had given him. In October 1986 the British press reported that Mercury had his blood tested for his slash aids at a Harley Street clinic. At the 1990 Brit Awards held at the Dominion Theatre, London, on 18 February, a visibly frail Mercury made his final public appearance on stage when he joined the rest of Queen to collect the Brit Award for outstanding contribution to music. On the evening of 24 November 1991, a little over 24 hours after issuing that statement, Mercury died at the age of 45 at his home in Kensington. The official cause of death was bronchial pneumonia resulting from AIDS. Mercury's close friend, Dave Clark of Dave Clark 5, had taken over the bedside vigil when he died. Austin phoned Mercury's parents and sister to break the news of his death, reached newspaper and television crews by the early hours of 25 November. On 27 November, Mercury's funeral service was conducted by a Zoroastrian priest. Mercury was cremated at Kensal Green Cemetery, West London. In his will, Mercury left the vast majority of his wealth, including his home and recording royalties, to Mary Austin and the remainder to his parents and sister. He left pounds 500,000 to his chef, Joe Fanelli. Pounds 500,000 to his personal assistant, Peter Freestone. Pounds 100,000 to his driver, Terry Giddings. And pounds 500,000 to Jim Hutton. Austin continues to live at Mercury's former home, Garden Lodge, Kensington, with her family. The outer walls of Garden Lodge in one log and place became a shrine to Mercury following his death, with mourners paying tribute by covering the walls in graffiti messages. In 1992 Mercury was posthumously awarded the Brit Award for Outstanding Contribution to British Music, with a tribute concert held at Wembley Stadium, London.
As a member of Queen, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001, the Sunwriters Hall of Fame in 2003, the UK Music Hall of Fame in 2004, and the band received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2002. In 2002, he was placed at number 58 in the BBC's poll of the 100 Greatest Britons. Consistently voted one of the greatest singers in the history of popular music, Mercury was voted best male singer of all time in a 2005 poll organized by Blender and MTV2. Was ranked at 18 on the 2008 Rolling Stone list of the 100 greatest singers ever. Was elected in 2009 as the best rock singer of all time by Classic Rock and was described by all music as one of rock's greatest all-time entertainers with one of the greatest voices in all of music.